if you have less body mass, you should uh, avoid people grappling you. One of the guys here is really, really strong. So he immediately went for the grab, okay, immediately. And uh, for him, it is very good because you can sometimes, when you're in many people, take one of the, of the people and use them as a shield. You understand? Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't feel comfortable with this uh, technique. It's, it's, I don't, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not weak, but I don't feel comfortable. So I would rather nobody touch me. So this is this whole exercise we did, this, so that nobody touches us. Of course, it's an idea. Nobody walks like this, like a zombie. But uh, look where we were at the beginning of today and where we are now. We know so many things about arm locks, about avoiding, okay, and it's in our body. So this is exactly what I wanted to do. And for you, uh, this kind of work is ideal, okay? And sure, you must work on your temi, hip techniques, have strong punches, strong kicks, good. But uh, sabaki, okay, is the best. And Takamatsu Sensei, I think he was 163 centimeters. He's, he's not a big guy. And what is the, how do you say it in English? Murashit Karav. Heritage, uh, battle, heritage. battle heritage. What is the battle heritage of the ninjutsu? It's not Takamatsu, Takamatsu standing and hitting many people. Is many people chasing him. He's going on a roof, and he does such a wonderful tai sabaki that everybody falls. Okay, or that he has a battle that he cannot avoid. He goes to a mountain pass, and some giant guy puts him and takes him like this and wants to throw him, and Takamatsu takes his eye out. So this is our heritage. And, and this is our examples, okay? It's not Kyoku Shinkai that uh, our instructor, our top instructor had like, you know, he took a bull and he broke his, uh, no, Takamatsu didn't break anything. You understand that the Sabaki, the level was so high that he could use zero level of violence in many times. But of course he had, he had, okay? And I'm just talking about the stories. I don't know if it really was. Maybe it was, maybe not. But what's important for us is what's our heritage. And for us, it's good, okay? Because even if we are very strong now, believe me, we will be weak. This is the world. We will be weak. So what are we planning to? Are we building only on force? So by 50, 60, 70, we have nothing. We must build on technique. And technique is just what we did today and what you do every day, okay? So just build on technique. And in a street fight, don't let anybody grab because they have such a big advantage. If it wouldn't be like this, we wouldn't have categories in BJJ. We have weight categories. Because if you're 100 kilos against somebody who is 50 kilos, he's, he can be the best BJJ, he has a hard time. Maybe he can win, but he has a hard time. Okay, so weight matters. Um, if I can add to this. <coughs> it matters as long as there are rules and there's a fixed frame. If you look at guys like Bruce Lee, or Angel Cabales from West Lima. This guy, is, he won 60 death matches with a machete, and he was 150 something. So uh, there, there is something for everybody, you know? It's not the... If, I, I, I agree, and I will add. If there are no rules, then you can use a lot of things in the ninjutsu arsenal the, in the street. What do I mean? Power multipliers. Nobody in ninjutsu said, well, it is not good that you take out a knife and throw. It is not good that you use a chain. No, but they say completely opposite. If you have it, throw it. You understand? So this is the frame of mind. This is why it is so important in our modern ninjutsu to continue explore weapons, just to explore, because it makes something for us. It calms us down. <coughs> when I shoot with a gun and I throw this and I throw this, it comes, so these are the potentials of this field, okay? And I have many potentials, so I become less afraid. So if you're, if you're really fearful for your life, you look for the correct power multiplier. What can you carry that the police will not accuse you? Okay, so we emphasize flexible weapons and short stick. We do swords because it's good for the spirit. Okay, we do a little yari because it's good for the spirit, but it is very long and I don't see myself <coughs> walking in the street with a yari. But we take the frame of mind, understand? Everything is a weapon. And it's not a frame of mind. We practice, we use practice, practice, practice. And we have a lot to learn, okay? Even in Akban, that we've been investing many years, okay? Uh, we have a lot to learn. So I always look outside and open the colloquium, even outside of Bujinka, 
Butinkan is a good place to learn from. Okay, so now stick fighting, I went to Portugal and studied with Nuno Russo. Okay, and your instructor, he is even more uh, active than me. All the time, go learn, go learn, go learn. Hema, okay, uh, in Israel there is ACT, okay, go learn, 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 learn. But you need power multipliers to, to make it even, just like Yaakov said. If you have power multipliers, then a little kid entering here with a hand grenade will kill us all. This is a power multiplier. And for this kid, weight is, doesn't matter. So people that fight wars, no, weight is nothing. It's just a sport. And this is why in the Roman army, they thought that doing pancration or doing fighting is a waste of time for the soldier. Because soldiers are supposed to kill and work as a unit. So if they learn grappling, it's just a waste of time. And this is from the actual Roman army uh, manual. You understand? Yes. So if you really want to be a soldier in your own service, you do something really power multiply, okay, and treat yourself like this. Thank you.